Welcome back. The objectives of this video are to explore parametric equation word problems. You will want to have handy your graphene utility and you'll want to make sure that is in parametric mode and degree mode. So let's take a look at this particular word problem. A football is kicked from the ground at an angle of 53 degrees and with an initial velocity of 68 feet per second. We'll give you the equations for both the horizontal and the vertical distance. So the horizontal distance, or our x, is v sub 0 cosine theta t. And that's our distance in feet, or, and time is in seconds, and speed is in feet per seconds. So horizontal distance might be how far something goes. A baseball, how far it is hit. Uh, in this case, a football, how far it is kicked. And then we have the vertical distance which is our y, which is going to be our height, how high the ball goes, or how high something is hit. So y equals negative 16 t squared plus v sub 0 sine theta t plus s sub 0. And again, that's distance in feet. Our time is in seconds, and our speed is in feet per second. So we've got to have the correct units here. So just as a matter of identifying things, our initial velocity is v sub 0. Our theta is our launch angle. t is time and s sub zero is our initial height. So we want to express the parametric equations which model the flight of the ball. So our horizontal flight is x equals 68 cosine of 53 degrees times t and our vertical distance, or how high it goes, y equals negative 16 t squared plus 68 sine of 53, and that's all, times t, and then plus zero, you don't really need the plus zero. Next, we'll use our calculator to graph the path of the football. And then we'll make a sketch of that graph. In setting up your window, think about kicking a football. How far will it go? Well, the, how far it will go will be what you want to set your x-axis to, because that's your, your x values, is the, that horizontal distance. And then also think about how high it will go. How high is that going to go on the, on the y-axis? So use that to think about setting your window. So I did uh, take the liberty of setting some things here on our, on our graph. If you kick a football about 50 feet high, that's going to be pretty high. And if you kick it 50 yards, that's going to be about 150 feet. That's a pretty long way. Let's start with, with that, and we'll head over to our calculator and get things underway. I went ahead and I've set my calculator to... Um, the parametric mode and degree mode, so that is done. And then I input my two equations. I put my, my x equation for my, my horizontal distance, 68 cosine of 53t, and then my height, my y, my vertical distance, negative 16t squared plus 68 sine of 53t. And then go ahead and take a look at our window. Went between 0 and 6 seconds. Uh, the x min I went negative 1 and my x max 150 feet or about 50 yards and I can change my scale here since I have it by tens on my graph I'll change my x scale to 10 and then my y min I just like to see the y axis and then a maximum height of around 50 feet and since I had my scale by tens I will set that by tens and then we can go ahead and graph and see what we uh, see what we get here. So we get a pretty nice looking graph. It looks like it's going to go about 140 feet and it looks like its maximum height will be around between 40 and 50. We have a pretty good window here. And then you can you can certainly use the trace key and you can trace along here and, and find different uh, x and y values at, at particular times. We've got some helpful information from our graph. So we go back and we sketch our graph, and since we kick it from the ground, the graph is going to look something like that. 
and that's a pretty decent sketch of what we have here with our label. So make sure you label and put your tick marks and everything on your graph. Now if the ball is caught five feet above the ground, what is the horizontal length of the kick? Well, five feet above the ground, that five feet is a Y, and the horizontal length is an X. So what we need to do here is we need to find out at what times the ball is five feet above the ground. Because we can see here it's going to be five feet above the ground twice, on the way up and then back on the way down. Because five feet above the ground is a y, we'll use our y equations, set it equal to five, and solve for t. So I subtract five from both sides, and I've got a quadratic equation, so we have to use the quadratic formula. So we substitute everything into the quadratic formula. So our a value is negative 16, our b value is 68 sine of 53, and our c value is negative 5. So I substitute all that into the quadratic formula, and I did it twice on my calculator, once for the plus and once for the minus, and I got two different times. I got a time of 0.0947 seconds and 3.299 seconds. So right at the beginning, right, right after we kick it, and then probably towards the end here when it, when it lands, because it's at five feet right before it hits the ground again. So. So now I've got my two times, but now I need to find the horizontal length. I need to find the x. So I'm going to take the second time, and I'm going to substitute that into my x equation. So that's the third thing I do, solve for the x. So x equals 68 cosine of 53 times 3.299. Now be sure not to multiply your angle by the 3.299. It's the whole value. So you could even put that 3.299 in front. We put that in our calculator, and we get x equals 135.01 feet. So a lot of calculator work here. And in part D, D asks, how long was the ball in the air, and what is its maximum height? So let's answer the how long the ball was in the air question first. The, the ball is in the air from when it's kicked until it hits the ground again. So the ground has a height of zero, so we'll use our y equation for, for our height of zero and use that to back into the time. Once we know the, the, the start time and the finish time, well then we know how long the ball is in the air. We should know right off the bat that, well at time zero, the height is zero because we're kicking the ball from the ground. We're not kicking it from a balcony or above the ground or from the basement level or something like that. We can just substitute everything into our equation. We really are only substituting y in right now or zero and then substitute into the quadratic formula. Our b value is negative 68 or the b value is 68 sine of 53 plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So be real careful about you, how you input into your quadratic formula, and we get a t of 3.413 seconds. So that's the amount of time that the ball is in the air, between 0 and 3.413, so, so the answer to that first question is 3.413 seconds is the amount of time that's in the air. But now if we want to find its maximum height, that's going to be a different situation. We want to find that, that peak height, that maximum height. Well, when does that happen? At what time? We can use from our quadratic formula or from our parabola days, the x-coordinate of the vertex is the opposite of b over 2a. Use the opposite of b over 2a to solve for that value of t. And that t is 1.6971 seconds. I just put in my calculator negative 68 sine of 53 all over 32 because our, our b value and then 2a. So we calculate that t. Well now we want to find the maximum height. Well height is a y, but I've got the t. So a little bit different, we're going to use the same formula, but we're going to substitute in for t. y equals negative 16, 1.6971 squared plus 68 times t, 1.6971 sine of 53. And I put all that in my calculator, and I get y equals 46.077.
Here is one sample problem of a parametric equation, and we'll get some more practice with this when I see you in class.